Hello everybody, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas. This is the first video I've done since Vlogmas and yeah, <laughs> I have, I had an amazing Christmas and it was just so, so nice, so good and oh, I just loved it. But I wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. I love watching these videos, there's been so many up these last couple of days and I wanted to be a part of this as I was a part of it last year and I just I just I just wanted I just wanted in on it just to put point out all of my family this year have been so generous it's unreal how generous my family have been this year and I am incredibly grateful for everything that I got and uh, I feel like this is going to be a really long video so I feel like the best thing to do is to just go straight on into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is I did get a lot of like chocolate. Um, an example would be like Lindor chocolate. Um, I got a couple of these, Milky Bar. For those of you who are new around here, um, I don't actually eat milk chocolate or dark chocolate, I really can't stand those. However, white chocolate I can I can stand because it has no cocoa powder in or a very little amount of cocoa powder. That's the thing that I think that I don't like is the cocoa powder. Interesting fact there, I don't like milk chocolate and dark chocolate, I only like white chocolate. So I had a lot of like chocolatey bits. Um, I also had money as well from some members of family, which is always really great because it means I can spend it in the sales but as of yet I have bought nothing in the sales I haven't even been to a single shop but you know <laughs> oh well there is no like real structure to this video I'm just going to show you and if I remember who it's from I will let you know but I'm just going to go through I think otherwise I'm going to get so confused <laughs> so the first thing I actually opened on Christmas day was this oh let me show you the box hang on a second it was this, put this side, this pink box, there you go. And just like this, and I open the pink box. There's this inside. In here is like some smelly bits, and they're all in the scent Peachy Keen. And it smells divine. I mean, seriously. So this is Along Came Betty. I'm reckoning it's like a knockoff of Soap and Glory because of like the pink packaging and those kind of things. And also it's got like women on there that are like, look, can you see? It's got like the kind of women that Soap and Glory would use. I'm assuming, oh hello, focus on me please. There we go. I'm assuming it's kind of like a knockoff brand. They're all in the same scent. It smells incredible. So I got a bath soak, a body lotion, a shower wash, bath crystals, shimmery ones, and then this, which is like a skin polish. I have no idea what this does, but we're gonna give it a go. It just says massage, massage onto damp skin. It doesn't say what it does, but I'm hoping it polishes. And that was from my godmother Anna and I really like that present. There's obviously like a, there was a common theme with my presents I think, it was like bath stuff really. <laughs> Let's dive into this little box here from Mel, my mum's old work friend. She got me loads of nail polishy stuff so this is a gel coat, a pink gel coat, I don't know what that does, a top coat and a daily moisture all from the same company which i don't know what it is i don't know i don't know what the company is it's nail stuff so who cares and it came in this really nice little box there you go <laughs> christmas socks you cannot go wrong with a pair of christmas socks these have little turkeys on um my whole like brother stepbrother stepsister and their partner thing all got a pair of Christmas socks from my stepdad because he thought it'd be funny. And it was quite funny. I haven't worn these yet because I wanted to show you guys, but they're like blue and white or creamy sort of striped and they have little 
turkeys on, which I thought was really cute. So I can I can actually wear those now. I'm gonna save them for next Christmas, I think. So I don't know when I'm gonna wear them. Oh, this is here. Might as well delve into me stocking. I've got a bunch of like rainbow guitar picks. There is a purple one, but I don't know where that's gone because unfortunately the packaging broke. Um, I have got the purple one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. These are the Plectrum card by Music Schubert. Don't know, but they're quite cute. <gasps> this, I really wanted to show you this because I really want to use it. This is a highlighter from Rosie by Autograph from Marks and Spencers. It's the Get the Glow highlighter. I've seen this and just wanted this because it's, oh my God, look at this. Look at this for a highlight. Don't focus on me, focus on the product. There we go, look at that. Oh no, oh no, oh god, oh god, hello. I don't know how well you could see that. I need to work out how to use this autofocus thing because it's just not happening. There we go, it likes my face. It likes my face a lot. I really wanted this highlighter. It kind of reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury and the highlighter reminds me of Copacabana from NARS. That's why I wanted it. And it's a lot cheaper than Copacabana from NARS. I mean, I'm not. it's not like the cheapest option, but I wanted to give it a go. So I will give you a full review, probably on my blog. So if you want to read that, go ahead. I haven't written it yet because I haven't used it yet, but the plan is to write it fairly soon. My mum literally came into my room and had a look round at the products that I use for makeup and beauty stuff. She literally went round and just wrote a list of things that I use. So she bought me one of my Rimmel uh, London BB creams and she also got me uh, my Nivea moisturiser that I always use oh my god I've got to show you these I got more Christmas socks for my mum so there's two pairs of socks in these so you've got a Christmas pudding on one side and then you've got Christmas puddings and stars on the other I just thought that was so cute what else is in here a memory stick always useful and it's a 64 gig one which is amazing See what I mean? My mum goes around and looks at my stuff. These, this is a mini uh, Garnier Micellar water and it also came with a Maybelline mascara which is Great Lash in very black. And the great thing is, is that I'm running out of the mascara I'm using so that's good. There's chocolate in the bottom of that, you don't need to see that, that's boring. This bag's next to me, we're gonna go through this bag now. A humongous tin of shortbread and it's got little reindeer on. Isn't that adorable? Where's this one from? Marks and Spencers. You know, what is Christmas without a tin of shortbread? What is Christmas without a tin of shortbread? It's not Christmas without a tin of shortbread. Let's just put that out there. More chocolate, more chocolate. My grandma always has this joke that she always buys me thank you cards. Um, because I obviously always write thank you cards to people who have given me presents as it's lovely and I don't expect them and it's always just a nice little thing to give a thank you card back isn't it so she always goes out and buys me thank you cards to give to family hello oh she bought me a little Christmas decoration it's Santa and I got the me before you DVD because I was desperate to go see this in the cinema but I never actually got around to it and there's new, never before seen footage in this. So I'm very excited. I got some, oh, this way around. I got some Real Techniques, uh, what are they called? Miracle Complexion Sponges. I got two of them in a pack. I love Real Techniques stuff. I've never used their sponges, but um, my beauty blender, which I bought from Primark, uh, which was a pound, is really on the way out, so needed a new one and mum said I'll buy you that. Mum also bought me this little thing which is making the camera go really weird as it's silver. <laughs> Look it's a rainbow. It's actually silver. Um, it's from Misguided. It's a <laughs> too legit contour kit. I love the name. Unfortunately one of the um, shades exploded um, but literally it, this is amazing. It's got two highlight, oh hello, two highlighters, two contour colours and two blushes and I am excited to attempt to use these. I'm not really all that good at doing the contour malarkey so and this has got the instructions of how to do it in the top here so I'm probably going to need to read those. Strobing, contour and blush. Wittards, white hot chocolate. I only ever get this at Christmas. I never 
Because they got rid of the Wittard store in Bournemouth, it means that I never actually managed to go to a Wittard's and buy the hot chocolate. So there's one in Winchester, which is near where my mum works. So she grabs me one of these at Christmas time. And this is the best white hot chocolate out there. I can't tell you about the milk chocolate because I don't drink it, but best white hot chocolate I've ever tasted. Oh, whilst I'm up all weird like, hello, come on, focus on me. Whilst I'm up all weird trying to find some things, I also got this for Christmas. This thing I'm wearing right now, it's from Sainsbury's. It's like a blue dress thing. It's not a dress because you wear it with leggings, but it's close enough. It's like a like a long top knitted thing. I don't know. Right, I got a few more bits I can talk about now. I got the new Michael Bublé CD called Nobody But Me. I love Michael Bublé. He's such a talent. I just think he's amazing. And I'd absolutely love to see him in concert. Not gonna lie, I bloody love it. My stepsister Laura, oh god this is making the camera go weird too. Oh, metallic packaging just isn't okay. There we go. This is a Ballis and, Har Ballis and Harding kit massage thing. So it's got a pair of like super soft socks. They are so soft. There's a little hole here where you can put your finger and feel how soft they are. It also has a limited edition something and another limited edition soothing foot lotion oh okay oh this is like a foot thing to make your feet soft this could actually be really useful so it's like a foot softening kit and then you've got like the soft socks to put your soft feet in i get it now okay this could be really useful because i have really hard horrible feet that, that's really useful i like that thanks laura i didn't fully read it and appreciate it on christmas day but now i appreciate it in this little weird bag here is a, I read it, it's a professional camera, I think it's a camera cleaning fluidy stuff, but I haven't quite worked out how you get into it. There's no like zip thing. Oh, done it. Okay, so in it, lens cleaning tissue. Oh, so it's a book of lens cleaning stuff. Oh my God, this looks far too complex. Get all of this. Pop this card out to frame your photo. Oh, that's cute. So you can take pictures and have a little Polaroid frame around it. Optical lens cleaner, screens and lenses, non-alcoholic based formula. And then you've got like little like cloths to clean. That's cool. I like that. I don't know how I'm gonna close the bag up again. Cool. I got this really cute little bag that I'm probably gonna get mum to just reuse again because it's so cute and it's got delivered by reindeer mail 25th of december this is a really cute hessian bag i have no idea where it's from but it is so cute so 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 cute so so cute and in it are two little bits this is a triple axis bubble level that goes on the top of my camera that can just level out the camera you know make sure it's level you know what i mean i also got this it's supposedly a Christmas decoration, but I am undecided if I want it out all year round because this has got something very nice on. <laughs> um, those of you who don't know, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it in this, but unfortunately my dad died when I was really young. Um, when I say really young, I was nine, so not, not, not young, young, but not like three. Um, and on this little star wooden Christmas decoration is this phrase which I'm obsessed with and it's got because someone we love is in heaven there's a little bit of heaven in our home and I just think this is the cutest thing I nearly cried when I read that <laughs> obviously I got other little Christmas decorations too uh, this one was from my brownies uh, well my brownies didn't make it but I know who did <laughs> and it's got snowy owl written on it as i'm called snowy owl at brownies and it's got 2016 up at the top there and it's just a really cute christmas decoration i actually really like this and it's got memories attached to it and i just love it and oh 
and I also got this little snowman one it's made of glass I have a thing about snowmen this year normally my th thing is penguins but this year it is snowmen and I just really like this it's so cute so so cute like I said my mum went through me stuff got me a thing of Elnet hairspray got me a dry shampoo it means I don't have to buy it which I'm very grateful for but I just find it absolutely hilarious that she went and bought these <laughs> she also went on my Amazon wish list and I remember years ago putting this on it it's the Taylor Swift Journey to Fearless little DVD thing so it's basically her Fearless tour on a DVD and I was literally like I was like oh my goodness I haven't I <laughs> I just find that hilarious that she looked at my Amazon wish list, which I did when I was like 10, no, older than that, like 14, and she bought this. I just think that's hilarious. I'm actually going to watch this. I'm actually really excited. I love a bit of Taylor. Love a bit of Taylor Swift. I did laugh a lot when I got that. Got a little calendar, wildflowers, from my auntie Jilly. I wouldn't have personally chose this one, but a calendar is useful. The only problem I don't like is that the dates are like really small on it. You can't really write anything on it. I got some books. This one just looks such a nice one. I'd put this on a coffee table if I had a coffee table. It is read this if you want to take great, excuse me, great photographs. And it's by Henry, Henry Carroll. I've got the hiccups. And it's just like about taking great pictures, which is really rather useful considering I do photography A level. Ah. I've been filming for like half an hour. I'm gonna hate myself editing this later. I got this book which is The Potion Diaries Royal Tour by Amy Allwood. I got Zoella's first round of book club stuff and I had the first book and I read it in like three days because I really enjoyed it and there was a second one that came out which is this one. So I'm gonna have a go at reading this book and hopefully I like it as much as I like the first one. I'm not gonna spoil it for you because I think you should read the first book of this. It's really good, really, really good. And the third and final book is this one, which is Girl Online Going, I was gonna say Going On Tour, but it's not. It's Girl Online Going Solo by the wonderful Zoe Sugg. Repping that YouTube brand there. I got the last one of these for Christmas last year and I, I read it really quickly again and I got the third one. I want because I really want to know what happens to Penny and Noah. That that's why. I'm actually really excited to read this. I can't decide which book to read first. <sighs> Let me know in the comments which one I should read first. Let's dive into this massive bag. One of the guide uh, guide leaders from Brownies is really crafty and she made these like wine glass charms um, which are Christmas themed. I also got some brownie themed wine glass charms as well that she made and they're so useful because you could have, if you're having a party of like six, you just have to remember which charm. You've got, there's a Santa, a reindeer, a snowman, bells, Christmas tree and a star and they've all got different colours on and it's just so cute and I really like them and I wish I was as crafty as her. She's She loves crafts. Then there is this. This was from the guides. It was, it's a flannel, it's got a little doggy on and I think that's a little bit of soap in there. And this is just really quite, not a really nice gift for someone that you don't know very well and you don't want to spend a huge amount of money on. That's just quite nice. Soap smells good too. It's a bit melted. Whoops. I got this mug with penguins on from Kathleen who is the, one of the brownie leaders. She also filled it with Lindor chocolate and unfortunately I don't actually like these but I'm probably not going to tell her that. One of the guide leaders, Peggy, got me this photo frame of an owl because she knows I'm a brownie leader and it's white because I'm snowy owl. My stepsister, Rachel, bought me this little makeup brush set from Superdry. I did not know Superdry did makeup brushes, but it came in this like pink makeup e bag, which I think is really nice actually. And then I got one, two, three, four brushes. I got like a fluffy sort of powder brush, an angled fluffy brush, um, like a shader brush, and then an angled brush. They are the softest thing. Oh my god, they are so soft. Oh, I can't wait to use these. I've been like holding back so I could film this video, but I can't wait. They look and feel amazing. So again, review to come on 
to come of those. Oh, we're nearly there, I promise. See what I mean, how generous everyone's been this year? It's unreal. I got a pack of tights. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna wear these ones because they're 40 de denier and I like a good 60. Um, but then I could be wrong, these could be all right, but I think they might be too thin. But we'll give we'll give them a whirl, obviously. They're from Sainsbury's. Uh, my Auntie Jilly got those. She also got me this little back scratchery thing. It's not a back scratcher, it's got a sponge on it, but it can scrub your back. I don't know why she got this, but she did. It's quite good for swatting people with, I suppose. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then she got me a load of chocolate and money. This was also on my wish list from when I was like 14, but this is a songbook of Taylor Swift songs from her Fearless album. So uh, expect more covers of Taylor Swift because I have a songbook of Taylor Swift Fearless edition. So this is gonna be fun and it's easy piano, which is what I need because I cannot play piano for to save my life. I wish I could. I got this, which is, oh, this way, which is a set of little baking cookie cutters, and they are in the shape of these wonderful biscuits here. If you are from America, you are missing out on these biscuits. So you've got custard creams, life, bourbons. Never, I've never, actually, I probably have had a bourbon, but obviously I don't like them. So uh, you've got a jammy dodger there, and a party ring. So. I'm gonna be making some of these biscuits and I am i can't wait, I'm so excited. These are so cute. So cute, I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna make my own custard creams from now on. Got a bigger version of the Garnier Micellaire cleansing water. Another cookie, this is a cookie stamp. So you like cut the cookie out with a cookie cutter and then you stamp it and it's got eat me. I thought that was really cute. Just stamp the cookie, boom. I got these socks from Gabby's uh, Gabby's range. Uh, they are of little cat, they're fluffy socks. They were £2.50 from Primark. These are so cute. Um, when I say Gabby, I mean Velvet Ghost or Gabriella, however you know her as. Uh, but they're little cats, they're so cute. Classic Christmas present from mum. Good old pack of Toblerone. Oli CD. <laughs> this is Ollie Mer's 24 hours, it's the deluxe edition. I can't wait because I'm going to see him in March next year and I can't wait and I've already been listening to this on Spotify so I know it already and um, Okay, some things I don't have with me because they're downstairs because they're things that can be used in the kitchen downstairs so I'm not going to go get them now and show you. Um, one of them is a mug from my friend Amit. Uh, it says something like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm a Disney prin princess, and then it's got a little asterisk, and it says the 0.01% or whatever it is. Um, I haven't found an animal, a talking animal or something, something along those lines. It's, that was so cute, I actually really like that. <laughs> and then the other little mug I got was a Jammy Dodger mug. So it's got, I promise you, I am nearly there with everything. I'm, so, I'm, I'm nearly there. My friend Molly got me these bathy thingies here. They are from Mandarin, Man, Mandarin? Mandara Spa. And they are Amber Heather, Heaven Luxury Bath Soaps. I've already used one. <laughs> and they smell incredible and they have petals in and they're so nice and so amazing. Bloody love them, I do. My friend Phoebe got me a little Mickey Sum Sum. I've never had a Sum Sum before. It's just so cute. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, so cute. Just look at it. And Phoebe also got me something from Lush because she knows I'm obsessed with Lush at the moment. I have been very good and not used this yet. It is the, the, the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. Basically, this smells of Snow Fairy. It's amazing. Oh my God, and it's so sparkly. I need a bath. I've got loads of bath stuff from Lush to use up now, because I'm gonna obviously want their like new stuff that's not Christmas when 
I next go there, which will be never because I can't, I, I have no money. <laughs> Bethany got me this little candle that smells of oh, rosewood. It does smell bloody amazing and it's in this really cute little jar. Oh, so nice. <laughs> she also got me these multicoloured shot glasses. There's no words for this, no words. And she was also very kind and got me a £10 gift voucher to Lush. So that means I can go out and buy Lush things, which is bad because I don't need any more, but we're coming on to the last three things, I think. I think then that's everything. So much, I feel so, I feel like this video is never ending, seriously. Okay, so my stepdad and my stepbrother, Mike, joint together, combined forces, and bought me a present, and that was this. You can't see it at all. It's this tiny, eeny, weeny little camera. Basically, this is a dashboard cam. It's for recording your journey to wherever and if you have an accident and it is the other driver's fault you can send this to your insurance, the footage, to your insurance company and obviously get the money for it and not have to pay out a sh load for insurance. So this is really useful and something that you would never think to buy yourself so I haven't set this up yet need to do that. My grandma was very generous and got me the HP Sprocket which if you are not aware it's a little printer that you can print pictures from your phone and they're like credit card size pictures and it's white and rose gold so you can't go wrong. All you have to do is download a little app and on the app you can edit photos and things like that and stuff and then you can print them out and my grandma loves this because it means she's going to get loads of print out of photos that I've taken so and I love it too this is so cute and it is literally pocket size so I put this in my jean pocket the other day pocket of my jeans I mean and it was just so handy and so nice it meant I could take a picture of our Christmas fam I could print our Christmas family photo for my grandma so then she can show all her friends and the last thing I am saving the best thing till last you've probably noticed quite a lot I keep looking over that way, it's because I got a new camera. I got the 700D from Canon, and it means I have a little viewfinder over there. I'm using it right now because, yeah, <laughs> I can. It also has autofocus, so I can focus on things like that, and then it focuses on me again, and it has a viewfinder, and I love it and it's so much better quality than the other one. So my other camera is going to go into retirement and this is gonna be my main YouTube camera. I, I did get this basically for, for YouTube because I am trying to take it a little bit more seriously now as I do really enjoy doing it. But yeah, this camera here, which I'm using right now, is so much better quality than the other one and it's just gonna be so much better for me doing, doing this this thing that I love doing so I hope you like the quality <laughs> I hope it's better and yeah that's everything I think that I got for Christmas I am so grateful this is no way me bragging I just love watching these kind of videos and I am so grateful for everything that my family have bought for me this year so thank you to anyone that's bought me anything I'm so so grateful and so happy and just Thank you so, so much. I hope you all had a great Christmas and got everything that you guys asked for. I also hope that you have a great new year because I don't think I'm gonna see you now till the new year. But, um, so yeah. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here. I make weekly vlogs, which will restart again next week in the new year. The first one will be up on Wednesday at 6 p.m. and then they will continue hopefully throughout the year and I also make videos like this every Sunday at 6 p.m. so stick around for those and I shall see you soon with another video. Have a great new year, thank you so much for the amazing support I've had this year, I love you all so much and I'll see you soon. Bye! Gonna focus? No don't focus on my face. I really like this camera. <laughs> oh my god. Focus on me. I don't know. I 
need to stop looking at this viewfinder because I catch myself doing it all the time. Look, I'm doing it right now. Unbelievable. Hello. You gonna focus on my face? Be really bloody useful if you would. The little box is following my face. What is next? Come out of the bag. Focus on me. Focus on me. Focus, focus, focus on me. We were both young when I first saw you. I close my eyes and the flashback starts. I'm standing there on a balcony in summer air. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah, there we go.